help kids gain a better respect for planet Earth through educational games about recycling, saving water, energy efficiency, and global warming. Hi, I'm Laurie from TTPM. Each game in Adventary Games' series of educational board games focuses on a different environmental issue. Today I'll be showing you the Global Warning and Water Game, but the company also makes Powerhouse, about saving energy, and Recycle Rally, about sorting recyclables. Those are sold separately. If you want to find more fun and educational games for your kids, then make sure you click subscribe below. Obviously, the environmental issue for the Global Warning game is global warming. The object of the game is to work together to solve the world's environmental problems before the planet overheats. You can play this with two to four players ages 10 and up. Lay out the game board and face problem cards face up on the earth. Each player has a hand of solution cards that might be a match to fix one of those potential catastrophes, such as smog, greenhouse gases, and water pollution. The solution cards are color-coded to match the problems, and the sum of the global and local numbers on your solution card must match or be higher than the sum on the problem card in order to be strong enough to solve the problem. The local value on the problem card is the number of points you earn if you solve the problem. At the end of every complete round, the last player must update the global warning index by adding up the global values on the unsolved problem cards. If the global warning index reaches 75 points, all players lose. Now let's play the water game. In this game, players learn the importance of not wasting water while moving their playing pieces down the game board's river and drawing cards and performing actions based on where they land. A green frog means you draw a green card, and those cards are all about moving ahead on the game board and saving gallons of water. Red cards might move you back on the board and cause you to waste water. You'll have to move your water indicator higher or lower depending on what the card says. If you land on a spot where you have to draw a question mark card, answer the question and follow the instructions based on whether or not you answered correctly. There are a few other special game spots that affect how you play a question card, force you to donate water, and send you back without taking a turn. Keep an eye on the community cistern because every player must have 10 gallons or everyone loses. If you don't have 10 gallons, you can withdraw some to reach 10 gallons. Or if a player has more than 10 gallons, he or she can donate it to the community cistern for another player to take. Even though the game is somewhat cooperative, there is a clear winner at the end. The player with the most water when everyone has reached the mouth of the river. If you're the first player or the second player to reach the end, you score bonus water. I actually didn't think the instructions for Water Game were that clear, so you might need to play a practice round first. Water Game is for three to four players ages seven and up. For parents who are looking to teach their kids how to be eco-friendly, these games will be a unique way to do that. What do you guys think of these games? Will they make it to your family game night? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Here's why I like them. The pros are the combination of strategy and problem-solving gameplay, while also being a learning experience for kids. And hopefully the things kids learn through these games translates into their everyday routines. The only con is the unclear instructions. I give these games three and a half stars. For where to buy in current prices, visit TTPM and subscribe to our YouTube channels for more reviews every day.